what is up everybody Chuck here and welcome to Road to Dark Matter on the Carver and I am a feminist and we have a lot to talk about today because I am a victim of society. I'm just kidding. You know I'm kidding. But we do have a lot to talk about today. So we are back with the Carver. We have 99 ki- Okay, I thought the game just ended. I was about, I was about to be really triggered. I am a little triggered by this dude going on in 21 because you know for for damn sure he's reverse boosting or something. Or doing a prestige without getting a kill. I don't know, but that looks a little suspicious to me. Maybe we'll go report him. Let's report him now. I, I don't know how. Anyway, so today I wake up, right? I wake up and um, my routine in the morning has gotten... It, it's changed quite a bit, actually. I didn't even used to have a morning routine because I never used to wake up early. Um, but now I got back from vacation um, from Florida and Las Vegas last Thursday? Last... Friday? Something like that. Somewhere back then. Um, I believe it was last Thursday. And um, I got back and, uh, you know, I, I sat down after a long day of traveling and I was like, you know what? I was in the worst shape of my life for that vacation. And that was like a vacation where I was like, you know what? I'm going to work my ass off and I'm going to get in good shape or whatever. Um, I'm not in like terrible, terrible shape, but, but like I know I could be... I know I could look and feel better, so, you know, I, I got back home, and I was like, holy shit, I put on, like, seven or eight pounds, which is kind of normal. When you go on a long vacation, you put on weight, because you're eating out, you're you're drinking, you're with your family, so you're not worried about, like, eating healthy or whatever. Not that I'm worried about eating healthy most of the time, anyway, but, um, so I got back, I put on weight, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get into a workout routine. You know, I need to I need to change my life for the better. We need we got to start working towards this because it's not going to do it itself. I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna get in better shape by doing nothing. What the fuck? Anyway, so um, I I went out and bought um, C450X, which is I used to take C4 all the time. I used to actually work out quite a bit uh, back in college um, because that was like when you were bored and you didn't want to go out and drink or study, you would go work out because that's. Uh, what the fuck is... I thought there was another one in there. I was about to get a triple. Um, you gotta move, though. So I went out, bought C450X, and, um... It's, like, changed... Is there somebody in here? What the fuck? How did you get in there and survive? He died immediately and then stayed alive until I got killed by his fucking thing. Um, so basically, the point I'm trying to make is I have, you know, I've started waking up early and cooking myself breakfast and doing the whole, you know, I mean, the breakfast isn't normally healthy, but it's, you know, it's, it's something. You're supposed to eat, fuck this controller. Where's the goddamn, where's the goddamn cord? I'm gonna get kicked. I'm gonna get kicked. Ugh. Come on, plug in. So we're gonna get to that whole feminist part in a little bit after I finish this story. Um, but I've been home for a week. Been home for one week, and uh, I've lost around five or six pounds, which is pretty... I mean, a lot of people would say, Chuck, that's not healthy. What are you doing? Are you making yourself throw up? No. Literally, all I'm doing is not drinking because I was in Vegas and Florida, and I was with a bunch of adults, and adults drink when they're on vacation. So I cut back on drinking. I mean, I'll drink like once or twice a week on the weekends, really, and that's it. Um, and I don't eat like shit every meal. Apparently, you're supposed to do, like, a big breakfast, a medium lunch, and a small dinner. But I was always skipping out on breakfast because I was... I'm, I used to wake up late, like, 10 or 11, so I just wasn't... I was never hungry at that time. Uh, and I, and it, I wasn't even working out before, so that's another thing. You know, you're never... You're not hungry if you don't do anything during the day. If you don't work up an appetite, you don't have a fucking appetite. So, started working out, and I couldn't before this vacation... And a lot of you guys probably actually remember in the uh, Wrench to Commander series, I talked about having back pain. And it really makes me feel like a bitch whenever I talk about it because I, I'm like a, I'm a 23-year-old guy and I play video games for a living. What, what kind of back pain could I have? I'm pretty sure it was from literally just sitting in this chair for eight hours a day. Uh, bad posture, whatever. But then I get back from vacation and I realize, like literally the day I left on vacation after one night, my back pain went away. I was like, holy shit. Whatever I'm doing right now is therapeutic. Turns out, it was my bed. There's like a, 
our bed is like concave. Like it goes in. There's like a little dip right where my back is. So that's really bad for your back, apparently. And I looked it up and it happens to everybody. So I put a little towel underneath. You guys don't care about this shit. Fuck it. Never mind. Anyway. So I've been waking up early. Been working out. Now that my back pain's gone, and I feel great. I feel like fantastic. So if any of you guys are in like a rut, not even a rut, but if you're just looking for something to do to make yourself feel better, um, or just to give yourself sort of a routine, start working out. Believe me, it's um, it's something. It makes you feel a lot better about everything. You'll feel better. You'll look better. You'll be swaggier. So the reason I I brought that up and talked about that for five minutes, which I don't really know why, but um, I woke up early this morning, make myself breakfast, sit down on the computer, and I see that the U.S. women's national team is trending on Twitter, the soccer team for the United States. Now, uh, I knew clicking on it that it was going to be something, you know, women aren't equal to men, they deserve, they deserve equal pay, blah, 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 and I'm like, all right, I'm going to check this out. So I did a little bit of reading. And it turns out they get paid a lot less than the men do, which is expected. Um, and now when I say it's expected, I don't mean because women are terrible people and they don't deserve to make any money at all. They should be slaves and they shouldn't be able to vote. I don't believe that. That's not what I'm saying. What, my issue with their whole, they're actually like going to court arguing that they should be paid equally to the men's team. And... Um, it may be true that they generated almost as much, the, the soccer teams themselves generated almost as much revenue in the past year or whatever. Um, but if you look at like World Cup numbers between men and women, uh, I mean, the, the, men's, the men's side generates 30, 40, 50, 100 times more revenue than women. Men are more marketable athletes. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offend anybody. It's a fact. Look at the WNBA. Men are, okay, I'm not going to say this, but men tend to be more athletic, okay? And that's going to offend people. That's going to offend the shit out of people. There are some incredible women athletes. There are a ton of athletes that are women that are way more athletic than I am. I'm not saying women aren't athletic, but if you're going to compare a men's and women's soccer team and their pay, have them play each other. Have them play each other. Have that be the deciding factor. You know, something... Something practical and not just like a okay, let's let's shut up the feminists for a little bit here and let's let's let them have equal pay. I I, I don't know. I think when when arguments like this are are delved up, uh, I don't know if that's a word by the way. So I shouldn't be paid equally to women um, because I don't know if that's a word. I I need to get in here. Fuck me. I feel like it drives more. Um, se not segregation, but more, you know, it, it, it divides people more than it brings you together by bringing up stuff like this. Is it really a problem if, if 50 times more people are watching the men and more advertising companies are advertising with men than they are with women? Like, is that really, is that an economic issue or a gender issue? So I wanted to talk about that because it just, it's irritating to me when I see things like that and, and they're like, you know what, they deserve equal pay because they're women. But but if they're not bringing in the same amount of money, where who's where's this money coming from? Like who's paying their, their who's shelling out their paychecks? Anyway, sorry. Um, I don't even watch soccer. But I will watch the World Cup when it comes on because, you know, I gotta root for our never gonna win American team. Um and it just, I mean, they're world-class athletes. I'm not saying the women aren't. I'm just saying I'm more inclined to watch uh, men's sports than I am women's sports. Um, I will occasionally tune into a w WNBA game just to watch them make a layup um, because that's a highlight. Like, if you ever look at, um, like, Sports Center top 10 plays and you see, like, nine crazy plays and you get to number one and it's like... A w WNBA player almost dunked, and that's number one because somebody at ESPN has their they've got their they got to fit the both genders in there into the top ten plays, and it's I will say this though when I was on vacation, I watched the UConn's women's uh, UConn women's basketball team, and they are absolutely incredible. I believe I truly believe that the UConn women's basketball team could probably beat. Um, the 76ers, they could probably beat the Lakers, to be completely honest. I mean, they're, they're fucking good. Like, those girls, that's a sport I could, I could watch. Because they win by, 
I mean, they kill their enemies. They win by 70. And it's not even hard. Like, it's so effortless for them. And that's... That's a whole other issue about paying college athletes. But but what I, what I am saying is that's really the only thing... The only women's sport that interests me. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat. I mean, I know there are some people that watch women's soccer. Some people, like, eight or nine. Um... But I just don't... I think all else needs to be equal to consider equal play. So anyway, we're going to move on from that point. If you guys disagree with me, that's fine. I'm not I'm not trying to, like, make you lean one way or another. I'm just saying when I see this stuff on Twitter, it, it irritates me a little bit. So I don't know. But uh, another thing I want to talk about today... Is the video I made yesterday the the what is wrong with Call of Duty? Everything wrong with Call of Duty in thirty seconds. Now I made that video because I keep seeing that gingerbread man pop up um, from Advanced Warfare. He's always on my timeline, and I was like, you know what? Right now it's really popular to play Black Ops Three. Like Black Ops Three, people still play it more than they did uh, Advanced Warfare or Ghosts at this point. I would say. By a lot, by a by a quite a big margin, um, people still enjoy this game. I still enjoy this game. I don't dislike Black Ops Three. I have never said that. I've never ever once said I don't like this game. Because I had a lot of comments who said, "If you don't like it, don't play it." But I enjoy the game. I'm allowed to poke fun at it because I paid a bunch of money for it. You know, I bought I bought two copies. One of them was the season pass. One of them was the Juggernaut edition. One of them was. You know, I bought a bajillion COD points, which I made fun of in the video. So I'm not necessarily saying I I think they're like... Uh, I'm not saying that I don't like the game because of the things that are in it, like the COD points. Uh, I have no problem with them. I do think some of the taunts and stuff are ridiculous, which is why I kind of made those a focal point in the video. Uh, but if you if you missed it, check it out. It'll be um, it'll be like on the on the top right. There'll be like a little thing that'll pop up. And it'll have the video in it. But people take things way too seriously on the internet. Like, it, you can offend... I can offend so many people by just saying... I could say, the sky is green. You know, I could say that. And, well, it's it's not green. So I should... I, I could say, the sky's blue. And people would be like, but, but wait a second. What about in the city in um, Nigeria where all of the burning coal has turned the sky black are you for completely forgetting about them like do you even care about them you're not even human you fucking pig like it's everything you can everything you say can offend somebody so i've i've actually gotten to the point now where if i offend somebody and what i say is like a fact it's not my problem you're getting offended it's your problem that you think the world should be so catered to your beliefs and your sense of entitlement i don't know I, I'm just I just woke up this morning and had a lot of energy, so I had to had to rant about this stuff. But we gotta start getting some goddamn kills. We're playing like shit. Normally I don't talk this much in these videos, do I? I hope not, because that'd be annoying. Uh, but thank you for the support in the first one. We didn't quite get to a thousand likes, so hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get there today. Uh you dick ass. You dick ass. That's fucking, that's misogynistic right there. That picture on that billboard? Yeah. Go feminism. And another issue, we're just going to stay on this topic because I'm sure you guys are sick of the same bullshit I am. I have no issue with with women saying they deserve equal pay. You know, I 100% I agree. All things equal. I mean, if they're, if they have the same output and they're doing the same work with the same amount of talent and skill, then yes. They, of course they should be paid equally but that's never the case when these issues are brought up like in professional sports um i also have this so there's a girl i went to high school with and i'm sure there's actually a couple people from my high school who, who watch these which is interesting um oh fuck i stunned myself uh interesting but there's a girl i went to high school with and she's always posting on facebook like um you know i'm sick of I'm sick of being objectified. I don't care about how my body looks anymore after all these eating disorders I've had. Okay. 
Now, hold up. Were the eating disorders because of, um, you know, your own, your own self-consciousness, or was it because men are fucking terrible people? Where is this guy? Oh my god, that must have been a woman. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And it just, it irritates me that, like, for now it's just, like, normal to blame everything on men. Like, we're just terrible people, and we, you know, we fuck up the world. And we're not equal, and we don't want anybody to be equal because we're the best, and... <sighs> it's frustrating. I'm sure there's a feminist watching who's a dude, and he's like, Chuck, I wanna unsub so quick! You dick! You dick! Anyway, so I tweeted out this fact, which you guys should all follow me on Twitter if you don't, because we have a lot of good conversations on Twitter. It's actually pretty intellectual over there. I, I keep it, uh, I used to tweet a bunch of, like, I used to call people naughty words and, like, troll little kids on Twitter, but now it's, there's a lot more intelligent conversation going on. So if you, if you like my personality, you'll probably enjoy uh, what I have to say over on Twitter. So you should go follow me. It would be nice to eventually hit 60,000 followers. Uh, but I tweeted out that the Women's World Cup generated 17 million in ad revenue. Men's World Cup generated 529 million in ad revenue. I think there's a difference there. I think that's where the... I think that's where the issue is. Not necessarily the... What part they have in their body. You feel me? Anyway. So if I, oh, fuck me, 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 fuck me. Where they at though, where they at though? See, now getting a kill with the combat axe is kind of pointless because all I'm trying to do is get kills with this thing. When I did branch the commander, it was obviously useful to use the combat axe because I could level up faster, but since I'm not trying to level up right now... Kind of ruins everything. But I'm on a roll right now, so let's just shut up and keep playing. Right here, baby. Oh, what the fuck? I'm going the wrong way. I just turned myself completely around. That was a terrible axe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gonna sneak up behind all of them? No. No! You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it! Yes, I am. We're on a merciless right now. What? That's 11. 10 plus 1 is 11. Round 11. 12. 13. Fuck my ass! What just killed me? What are you doing running out of the ro- That- you know what? That's the only way they can kill me? Fine. I take- that's a compliment to me. <sighs> See where those land. Probably nowhere good. Honestly, when I'm not recording myself, like, doing live commentaries, I, I get so many cross-map, like, Sparrow... Sparrow things. But then when I try to do a live commentary, then it's like, I look like just an idiot. Anyway. anyway. Now... What I don't like, so yesterday I made that video about what I what I felt was wrong with it. And it was supposed to more be like a poking fun at Call of Duty. Like, I'm not saying it's a terrible game because right now I'm sitting here playing it. I still play the game. I still like the game. But there are some things in it that I find a little, I, I find funny. So, what I always worry about is like, I've, I've met some people in the industry who I'm not trying to offend and be like, Why can't I put this fucking care pack? Thank you. Great, I'm gonna die. Um, and I'm not trying to, like, offend people. Did you just assume that nobody was gonna go get that fucking care package? What are you doing? I'll get you. Like, you're, you're fucking mine. Level 8, baby. Whatever the fuck that means. Alright, let's call this in. Um, and I included things like the... The dances and stuff, and I think the kill streaks in Black Ops 3 are just a little bit weak. What did I just get a kill with? A car? Um, I think the kill streaks are a little bit weak. Like if you guys remember, if you played Modern Warfare 2 or even Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 1, um, you know that the kill streaks in those games were like if you if you heard Chopper Gunner, 
You, everybody was like, shit. Get inside. It, it's about to go down. Like, this is war. Everybody get inside. You heard Stealth Bomber? You knew, regardless whether or not you were inside, you're going to get killed. And I think that's kind of what I miss about it, because... That's what made those games fun was that well, you would you would try to get these kill streaks because there was a payoff for it. Now I get 18 kills and safeguard, get a counter UAV and an HCXD, and my my HCXD starts flying in the air, floating, and I just get a hit marker with it every time. I never get kills with that thing. Seriously, I think I did actually in the first episode, but other than that, not really. That would have been a nice little kill cam. Let's see if I can hit him. They're over there. They're over there. Oh, fuck. Anyway. So I've, I've done a lot of bitching today. I'm sorry. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm supposed to talk about now. I'm out of things. I'm out of things to talk about. We may have a supply drop to open. Which is great. Um, so yeah, you guys should all go follow me on Twitter. I, I Sometimes I just spew out bullshit, nonsense. Most of the time, that's what I do. Um, but there are some good conversations that go on over there. By the way, right now, if you're watching this, I need you all to hit the like. Just smash the like button, Okay. As I'm saying this right now, our last one got a little less than 700 likes. I know we can break 1,000. I know we can do it. I mean, my video yesterday got 3,700 likes. So I know we can do it. I know there's 1,000 of you guys watching it, listening to me right now, saying, eh, I don't know if it's that good. Well, you've watched me for how many How many minutes are we in? We're 22 minutes in. we got time for one more game. You can do it. You can, you can do it. for. Oh, we don't have, we're not even close to a supply drop. What did we get? Three that game? Almost four. We used to get way more than that, but I think, th again, people are going to be like, Chuck, you're just a conspiracy theorist, but I do believe that they changed the crypto key drop rate. I don't know if anybody's done a test on that either, but I feel like I used to get like four or five in a game of safeguard, especially when it went to overtime. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's a video of somebody driving a Ferrari F40 on a ski slope. Oh, God, I gotta see this. Oh, my God. Why would you do that? Oh, that seems dangerous. Oh, it's a Red Bull video. Typical. They do some cool shit. Oh, boy. I miss Florida. I miss Florida and Las Vegas. I really do. I don't know that I could ever live in Las Vegas, but... But it's such a cool place to go to, even if you don't gamble. Like, my parents don't gamble. They don't really drink. And my sister didn't gamble or drink. So, I mean, Sarah and I were the only ones basically out of my family doing that. But it's still, I think everybody has fun because you, it, it's so extravagant. Everything is, like, just overdone. Nothing, ha it leaves nothing to be desired, I guess is how I'd put it. Like, you go there and you're like, okay, yep, this is exactly what I pictured. This is, this is what I've seen in every movie. It's a really cool atmosphere. I mean, you can go through a lot of money pretty quickly, but if you don't gamble, I mean, it's a really cheap vacation, so it's something, especially living in Denver, or, or close to it at least, you can you can get there pretty cheap. Uh, and I just miss Florida weather and the ocean. I love the ocean. I used to go to Florida all the goddamn time because I have a sister who lives there. Because um, we got home and... Uh, it, it was like 50 or 60 degrees and rainy, um, like a couple days ago. And then yesterday, I'm sitting here at home, and I had gone and like I went to the post office to mail out a bunch of stickers that I gave away on my stream. And I, I get home and I'm like, oh, it looks nice out, right? I, and then I get home and I check the fucking weather and it says I'm supposed to get almost a half a foot of snow. And I'm like, well, shit. But I don't even trust the weather people here because they're they're wrong like 80% of the time. More than that, actually. This guy can't kill me, so let's see if we can have some fun with him. You're terrible. 
And then, of course, it says, yeah, we're gonna get four to six inches of snow. Prepare, everybody. Yeah. I didn't move my car because I'm like, I don't believe you. Hey, we didn't get any snow. I look outside right now, I can see green grass. So I... The weather here is crazy bipolar. Oh, fuck you. And that's kind of why I miss Florida. Florida's cool because... Um... Every single... Every single day, you get like a mix of, you'll wake up and it'll be like crazy sunny or cloudy. But then by like noon, the weather has completely changed and it's either beautiful or they'll get a little, you'll get a little thunderstorm and then it'll go away and then it's sunny the rest of the night. Like that's, that's perfect. I miss that. One day, I'll have to find myself moving to Florida. Maybe when I retire, I'll do it. If I ever retire. Well, sometimes I feel like I'm already retired. Which is why I need to get a job. Want to get a job, not need. Sorry, I confuse people. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, there was no way I was killing them both. How many? We need to get 200 kills. I think right now we have like... Uh, 140 maybe now? I don't even have a camo on it yet. But somebody spoiled it, and they tweeted a picture of the Dark Matter Carver at me. And I, w I didn't want to see it until I got it. And they, they were like, look at how cool it looks. I'm like, fuck you. Thanks for ruining it for me. It does look cool, though. So it'll be a, it'll be a nice little treat when we get there. Ah! And then uh, when we talked about... In the last in the last episode of this, make sure you don't fall behind. I'm giving you guys basically two days to watch each thirty-ish minute episode. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? Who's my teammate? This dude. This dude's one and nine. Man, he's gonna go out there and die again, isn't he? Oh, you're lucky. I saved you. Well. What was I talking about? Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, we were talking about melee weapons and uh, the fact that I think some of them are better than the regular knife. And somebody said that they did uh, they did a test on some of the melee weapons, and it turns out that they're all the same now. That's such bullshit. There is no if you if you take the knifing time from the shadow claw bayonet to this time, and how long it takes to like pull it back and be able to knife again, nowhere near the same at all. That's baloney. I also don't like how um, trophy systems can destroy your sparrow and your other stuff. I, I don't know if they can destroy like a tempest or an annihilator. I feel like they shouldn't be able to, but it's a specialist. It's not a equipment. I feel like they shouldn't be able to blow them up. How did they not get that kill? What? Oh, because it lunged me past our own robot. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, man. I've been searching for the... Have you guys ever... You've had a song in your head, but you cannot... And you tell people, you're like, I need to think of this song. There's a song in my head, I heard it like a week ago, and I just remembered that I like it right now. And you try to find it, but all you know are like three words to the song. And it's probably a remix, so you have no fucking idea what the original is, if it's even the original. And you can't even tell if it's a man or a woman singing it, and you don't know the rest of the words, and you don't... You have no clue anything about the song, except for like a couple words. So you search up the words, and obviously nothing's gonna pop up. Story of my fucking life. I've had this song in my head, and I'm going to try to sing it for you, just the part that I know, and you're going to make fun of me. But I need somebody to help, because I cannot figure out the song. You guys, feel free to leave your guesses in the in the comments, but it's like um, it's like if you were to go on like The Sound You Need, or like one of those chill, chill music YouTube channels, whatever. I'm sure it's on one of them, because that's where I heard it. And it's like... God, I, I'm going to make fun of myself for singing this. It's not even singing. It's like a hum. It's a woman singing it, I think. Where the fuck are you? 
woman singing it and she's like and that's all I know but it's like a chill song and it sounds like she's saying my feet, my feet can't touch the my feet can't touch the ground but but whenever I search up my feet can't touch the ground I get uh, waves by Robin Schultz I think it is and that's not the song I'm looking for so it's not that one so don't even try to suggest it she may not even be saying my feet can't touch the ground but that's what it sounds like when I hum it to myself <laughs> So if, if one of you, honestly, if one of you guys can find the song for me, I will send you a t-shirt for free. Okay? So feel free to, to leave a comment or a couple guesses or something. And if you're right, um, I, will, I will give you a t-shirt because it is that meaningful. Oh my god, their whole team. What the fuck? Well, if you knew the amount of time I spent just looking up this song or trying to find it, you'd laugh at me. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Fuck you. Shit. They know where I am. They know where I am. Are you kidding me? Alright. See, that's why I don't think all of these weapons are equal. Because that wouldn't happen with the Shadow Claw. That's a kill with the Shadow Claw. In other news, um, I'm really excited about the Packers signing Jared Cook. For real. Very excited. Packers need a tight end. That's like, that's a position I think that's overlooked so often in football. But none of you guys care because none of you guys are Packer fans. Maybe like three of you, but that's, I'll stop talking about it. Because... There are probably more baseball fans out there. Uh, opening day's coming up. It's in what? Is that tomorrow? No. It's normally around April 1st. I think it's on, what is it, on Sat Sunday? But I'm a Brewers fan. So, um, I'm a Brewers and a 76ers fan, which means I don't really... I don't really get to cheer for them. I kind of just have to suffer through every season that they have. I stopped watching the Brewers after we uh, got rid of Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder was so fun to watch. Prince Fielder, Carlos Lee. I don't even remember. But Carlos Lee went to Houston, I believe. But he was he was good, man. He was good. I feel like he was roided up, though. Because he, he looked large and in charge. Where are they at? Where are they at, though? They're back here. Fuck, fuck, run, Chuck, run. Oh, I can't run anymore. I'm done. That's not fair. That's not fair. Where'd he go? You killed him. Quick. Oh, fuck. Ah, that was just, that was just not going to end well. All right, let's test our pinpoint accuracy here. Are they going too short? I haven't used the sparrow in a while, so I kind of forgot how they, how they arc across the map. Ah, boy. Keep going this way. This is the way to go. You sneak around behind him. Works like a charm. Right in here. Right in here. I feel like there's a couple in here. Or just none. None's fine, too. Oh, my God. Look at this dude. Oh, I guess they're defending the robot. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of a break for camping there. I think we we went over our allotted time of 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, we're at 34. we got to hurry this game up. Jesus Christ. I'm out. Don't know where you went, but I'm not going to try to knife you. Jesus. That would have been a bear.
embarrassing. Come on, baby. No! Oh, fuck you. Guys, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry this up. There's no way. They have their entire team. If I get the Sparrow, maybe I can take out a couple of them, but their whole team is right there. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that. Go on, Brian. Go on, Brian. And a boy. God, I'm fucking proud of you, Brian. Do you guys like uh do you guys like this whole right now my my kind of the way this video these videos work is I just talk about whatever the fuck's on my mind. Um do you guys like that? Or would you prefer if I, like, every single day I had, like, a set topic and I just talked about that topic the entire time? You guys, let me know. Let me know. Because I I prefer what I'm doing right now where I just, if something pops into my mind, if I have nothing to talk about, I'll just talk about whatever pops up first. I think it works well for this because that means I get to focus on playing and then if I have time to talk, I can talk. Je dig, je feel. I would, never mind, I was going to say I would like to sneak behind him and get a quad, but that clearly worked. Shit, he knows I'm here. Fuck me. I'm out. It was not going to work. I really want to take that. I'm not going to do it, though. They're going to beat us. They're going to fucking beat us. Oh, my God. We're getting our ass kicked. We are getting our ass kicked. Handed to us. Where's my sparrow? I haven't had my sparrow in like a year and a half. Good work with that guardian. Good work. Oh, that was their guardian. Fuck. Where is he? Good work. Good work. All right. This could be a mistake. Get away, Chuck! Ah! They have a minute 45 to move it about 50 feet. I would say we're royally fucked. Maybe I can take one of those out. Right there. Give me that kill. Give me that kill. They're landing in good spots. I mean, that's right where they were. I let him kill me. I let original noob kill me. 12 and 36 original noob killed me. I must get revenge. Oh my god, he got me again. Look at that. He's, you know what? He's probably on top of the world right now. He's like, I've never gotten two kills in a row. That's right, I'll save the fucking day. Uh, three kills. He got me three. T I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I think it's already starting. The tears are flowing. Yeah, we lost. Good. Wow, I wish my team could play the objective. Why can't they escort it for three seconds like me? Idiots. Morons. Morans. Alright. Oh, fuck. Do we have another round? No. That was it. Yeah. It's alright. Alright. Well, we're going to open a supply. No, we didn't get one, did we? We needed like f almost four and a half to have ten crypto keys. If we have a supply drop, we'll open it up. We'll check our progress real quick. And then we'll call it a day. Uh, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching, for tuning in. If you have any suggestions for a future one, uh, for, for the next episode, 
uh, feel free to leave them below. So after this one's opened, uh, um, or after this one's done, we're gonna do the Iron Gym. That sound good? Good. Oh no! Okay. Oh no 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 no! All right. Uh, we didn't even get close, did we? We probably got eight. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What we get? One more. One more. One more. How close are we? Please don't tease me. Oh, okay. Uh, let's check the status here. Level eight. We already knew that. Uh, we got 57 kills today. That's not too bad. So next episode, we will hit our 200 kills. Uh, pretty sure about that. And then most of these challenges really aren't too difficult. The one where you have to pick up their weapon and kill them with it is kind of hard. Bloodthirsties can be kind of hard, but I think we got five bloodthirsties today. So I would say we could probably finish this in two more episodes. And then we'll work on the Iron Gym. And then we got to go for the... Um, Whatever the fuck. We gotta go for the baseball bat and that dragon sword. I don't know what it's called. I call it a dragon sword. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button for me. And make sure you don't miss yesterday's video. Or tomorrow's video. Or any video. Okay, I'm counting on you. I love you. Peace.